Well, this is the Hobby Wing Quick Run 880 brushed electronic speed control. It's a brush motor speed control, obviously. It's set up with dual motor leads, and uh, we're gonna pop the box open, kind of run through all the features, show you what all the stuff is that comes with the speed control itself. And So, we'll get to the speed control last. Talk about all this extra cool stuff that comes in here. So, dump the box out. You get your sweet Hobby Wing stickers. You get your best friend in the whole wide world, the instruction manual that has the programming items. So, this will show you what all your default settings are. So, you know what all that on there. Uh, comes with a couple zip ties, some double side tape that's got the one cut out for the switch. And it comes with this jumper wire. And in case you need to set up for dual battery packs, this is so you can, you know, right away have an extra set of, a piece of wire to set that up. And then we'll pop the speed control out of the plastic. Have a look at all this. So you see nice long input harness here so you can get that to the far reaches. A lot of the rock crawlers these days or the even the, the, the A-scale brush motor MMOAs, the speed control is kind of far away from the rest of it. Um, doesn't come with a plug, so you have to install your own plug on there. We recommend usually XT60s or XT90s these days are real popular um, if you're using LiPo battery packs especially. And then it comes with two sets of motor leads. Now these are not independently controlled. It both operates at the same time, but they're marked so you can keep them paired together. You got your positive and your negative and all that. And then it has the markings for this guy here, which is your programming port. The speed control itself doesn't have any onboard programming if you need to make setting changes it's all done with the LED programming box um, but you can see it comes pretty much set up ready to go the instruction manual here has the programming chart that says what all 15 of the settings are so we're going to run down the different programmable items that the quick run 880 comes with just so that everybody kind of knows what they do in your manual the highlighted settings are the default settings if so if you want to know how it comes set up that's what all these grayed out areas are the darker gray if you will so the first one is running mode and that lets you switch between race mode regular basher mode and rock crawl mode it comes in regular mode which is forward reverse and brake uh, battery type is set to lipo so if you're using lipos that's you're good to go there if you're going to run nickel metal hydride you have to get in there and change that to the nickel metal hydride mode the voltage cutoff is set to medium which is the safe range if you have problems with lipo cutoff kicking in too soon shutdowns and stuff like that you can lower your uh voltage cutoff point uh that that'll make it less sensitive if you're very concerned about your batteries you run it on the high setting which is safer if you will uh, initial start force is how hard the speed control wants to start the motor it's set at four percent and it goes all the way up to 16 higher is going to give it a little more response lower is going to make it very smooth so if you want super ultra ultra smooth startups you can run that all the way down on setting number one max forward force max reverse force those are pretty easy you can turn the full throttle down on this guy and you can turn the full reverse power down as well which is handy uh, max brake force you can change that as well so when you get on your push brakes you're not mashing on the brakes very hard that's adjustable through the speed control also um, initial brake force is a lot like the initial start force except it's for the brakes so the higher you have that the when you first touch the brakes it'll kick on a little harder so if you want your brakes to be real responsive as soon as you touch them you can turn up your initial brake force and then the drag brake is the brakes that will come on at neutral. So for rock crawlers, they crank that way up. For some of the racers, you'll run a little bit of motor drag brake, but not usually. Um, but that's what drag brake is. And then the drag brake rate controls how quickly the speed control applies those drag brakes. It comes set right in the middle, number four. If you want the drag brakes to come on real hard and aggressive, you put it at number nine. If you want the drag brakes to initiate slowly, smoothly, you'll run it down on number one. Uh, next one is the neutral range. That is the amount of space between like throttle and reverser brakes. So if you have a real sensitive or worn out throttle or you're real twitchy at the neutral point, you can run that um, neutral range a little bit w higher in the settings. So they give you more range for that to move around. Um, the start mode or punch is kind of like the initial start force, but a little bit different because it's controlling the uh, way that the motor responds to how quickly you pull the throttle, not just the, the very uh, initialization of the motor, if you will. So the start mode or the punch 
the higher you have that, the more linear the throttle is. Most of the time, I personally run my, my punch turned all the way up because the throttle is real linear that way. The reason that it defaults a little lower is a lot of times that's not real good for the vehicle or the batteries or the connections and it can make stuff kind of act a little funky. So if it runs okay down there, you can turn it up bit by bit and see if, if you like that. Um, the PWM frequency is the frequency that the speed control drives the motor at. So it's switching on and off the whole time and that's what this PWN is. It's pulse width modulation and that's the steps of electricity that the speed control likes to feed to the motor. The higher that is, the smoother it's going to be. The lower it is, the more aggressive it's going to be. So if you have, uh, you want a lot of throttle feel as you move the trigger back and forth, move the throttle back and forth, lower frequency is going to make that feel a little bit more aggressive or more responsive and then higher frequencies are going to be a lot smoother. Uh, BEC voltage on this guy's not adjustable and then there is the freewheeling setting so that is is very much for rock crawl stuff so you get a little bit more feel from the motor uh, for downhill driving so those are the <clears throat> you, I mean I always say try it on and off if you can that'll make it a lot easier to understand than just saying it's easier to drive downhill but yeah for the most part that that's what's going on there so those are the uh, rundown on the programmable items that come on the quick run 880 this is going to be basic connection and I guess setup, if you will. There's there's really no setup is the beauty of it. So I have my two motors connected, uh, positive and negative. I have the speed control plugged into the throttle channel on my receiver. And this receiver has already been bound to my radio. And I know that it's working. And I have my battery pack hooked. I didn't put a plug on yet, sorry. But I just have it with some jumper wires there. And then I got my radio over here ready to go. So... <clears throat> This is extremely simple as far as any calibration goes because, like I said, I don't think there is any calibration. You just turn it on. It beeps at you, one, two, three, to tell you that it had a lipo, and then one more time to tell you that it learned neutral, and that's it. It's ready to go after that. Both of the motors run. So, forward and reverse works right away. And there you go. So, there's really no calibration or anything like that. So, we can get right into what all the settings do. Um, if for some reason that that doesn't work, what it usually means is that your trim or your neutral is off or even your throttle channel isn't working. So you got to make sure that uh, all of that stuff's in place, that you've already bound your receiver to your radio, that you have normal output, your trims are centered, your travels are at 100% and everything's good to go. Quick Run 880 and the LED programming box. So if you want to make any changes to the settings of the speed control because it's completely waterproof and very simple, there's no button for programming. And as we saw, there's no calibration. It just auto calibrates to the neutral point. So you have to get the LED programming card. And what you're going to find is that the tables that are on this card don't match what the speed control settings are. So you will still need your handy dandy instruction manual and the programming item chart that is listed there. So you'll reference your programming box to this chart and then you'll be able to access all the settings. So just real quick, I'm gonna run you through how this all connects and works. So a lot of times it's not clear where the, the LED programming card goes. There's a port right in there. And then just like on a receiver, the black wire of the three wire harness is gonna to go to the outside edge. And then the other end of the port goes into the side that says ESC here. And again, that's all marked off. Also. So when you turn the speed control on, it's connected to a battery pack, lights come on, and then you get some numbers. And those numbers, the item and the value, are going to correlate with the programmable item column here and the options that go along here. So I can cycle through these and it'll match up with that. So I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You get the idea, back around to 1. And when you want to make changes to this, so let's say I want to go from, uh, we'll, we'll turn off the reverse, that's an easy one. So you'll you cycle through with items and you select them with value. So I change the value that way with one and then I hit OK to save that setting and now uh, the reverse is turned off so shut this off unplug this guy turn it back on and every time you turn it on it does the beeping for the the lipos and then one more to say that it learned neutral and then now the uh, forward works but my reverse does not work so there you go some simple and easy how to change the programming